I'm Frances Callier. And I'm Angela V. Shelton. Welcome to This Just In, where we bring you wacky news stories from around the globe. This Just In. A group of would-be thieves were stopped from robbing a store in Belgium after the owner said he didn't have enough money in the cash register and asked them to come back later. They came back two more times. The second time was an hour earlier than the time the clerk had previously told them. When they came back the third time, an hour later, the police were waiting for them. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I can't, um, I, I don't even know, I can't even, Francis, I don't even know where to begin. Um, you can't schedule a robbery. No, you can't. No, okay. you can't. Okay, I know you want to, right? Maybe you just maybe you just read some sort of organizational book, mm -hmm. you know, and you're like, you know, I'd like to organize my crime. Right, 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 right. But see, what kills me is the store owner told the police and they didn't really believe him right, the right, first right. time right. or the second time. Right. But then they're like, oh, these people are stupid. They may come back another time. Exactly. And they, they did. did. Now, let me tell you this, okay, Angela? If the store you go to rob doesn't have enough money for you in the first place, why are you robbing it? Why are you robbing it? But also, why are you taking? I I have to say kudos to that uh, store uh, owner I, I don't because feel like, no, I no there's not enough money in here. There's not enough money in here. I ain't got enough money. And mind. they didn't even take what was there. You know, this that's is how you know stupid. That's how you know they stupid. They didn't leave. I don't care. Well, how does he know what's enough money? It's like, come back an hour later. And then when they come back, he's like, this is too early. Come back again. It worked again? <laughs> Y'all just waiting. Were you waiting at a Starbucks? And like, okay, well, it should be about time to go. <laughs> what time did he say we could rob him? All right. Come on now. Just go get a job. You can't be doing crime. You're not mm. smart enough. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This just in. A man who was house-sitting at his parents' home started a fire when he tried <laughs> to kill Black Widow spiders with a blowtorch. <laughs> It took 29, 29 firefighters to extinguish the blaze. Afterwards, the department pleaded in a Facebook post, please don't use blowtorches to kill spiders. But let me tell you something, okay? I wanna rip out my own eyes. Let me tell you something, and Frangela said this many a times, fire is not a cleaning tool. It's not a cleaning tool. You can't clean nothing with fire, you just burn it down. Notice when you go to the cleaning supply aisle at the store, there's no fire? Yes, next to the fantastic. Because there's no fire. Yes. Because you don't clean with fire. I admire and respect getting rid of spiders. That's just your duty as a good human <laughs> being. But low torches, let me tell you when you set things on fire, what happens? They set on fire. <laughs> Don't you know everything what? sets on Let fire. Let me tell you something. Let me 29, tell you. that is the worst oh, resource uh, of use. Exactly. How many firefighters it took? Exactly, That's a exactly. Village. I, you know what? I, I don't know if I'm gonna put out your house. I can't, like, you know what? Oh, That's you clean the fire, mm -mm. use fire, use the fire to clean spiders? Mm -mm. Let it burn. You ain't got a broom? You yeah. ain't got no kind of broom, a no. shoe? Yes. A magazine? Nothing? Nothing? Throw your iPhone at it. Come on, people. <laughs> this just in. The delivery service Postmates has named rapper Post Malone its number one customer for spending $40,000 on food delivery in just one year alone, okay? The rapper is known for his love of junk food. McDonald's and Popeye's Chicken are his, in his top 10 favorite places to order from. One of his favorite orders from Ralph's grocery store is garlic bread and melatonin. <laughs> <laughs> Melatonin? I don't understand the combination at all. I get, I get the Popeye's chicken. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I didn't know you could get that delivered. I'm going to be on that. I'm going to be on that. I was, I sure, I was that. like, oh, you can get Popeye's? I'm going to be on that in a minute. Yes. But, but garlic bread and melatonin? <laughs> Like, because melatonin, what's that, to make you sleepy? Make you sleepy, it makes Post Malone sleepy time, bye-bye. Garlic bread don't do that enough? Mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. <laughs> He's like, hey, one or the other, one or the uh, other is gonna work here. Yeah. I can't even mm. with that. <laughs> melatonin. <laughs> oh, Post. Um, this just in. A recent study found that dolphins that spend too much time around tourists have trouble mating and resting. Dolph dolphins are repeatedly approached by kayakers, swimmers, and vessels inside and outside their preferred resting habitats. Popular times to visit are when the animals would normally be enjoying downtime, and it's causing their mating habits to change. <laughs> yes. Reed, y'all getting in the way of the dolphins making nookie. Okay? Can, can they have some private time? Some private time. I mean, I know you want to... I know you love it, right. you know, right. you want to touch them and swim with them and be spiritual and all that. Yeah. But they need some downtime, yeah. okay? Or else you ain't gonna have no more dolphins, yeah, okay? They need some, you need some me time or these are the last dolphins we gonna have. Right. <laughs> you got to let them, you know, they not freaky. No. You know, they want to they wanna be responsible and respectful of each other too. Mm -hmm. This just in, an Oklahoma woman has called her dog a gold digger for sneaking out 
to the local McDonald's where she pretends to be a stray to beg for food. Betsy Reyes drove to McDonald's one night where she caught Princess sitting in the parking lot waiting for someone to give her food. She posted a pic of Princess with the caption, if you see my dog at the McDonald's on Shields, and it's the one on Shields, quit feeding her because she don't know how to act. And be leaving the house all the time to go walk into the McDonald's at night. She's not even a stray dog. Princess. I love Princess. I, princess is, I'm down princess for like, Princess. Princess is like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't have none of that that paper they use. Yes. How am I gonna get some of that sweet, delicious Big Mac? Yeah. She's out there looking all like, oh, I'm so oh, hungry. If only I had a filet oh, of fish. Oh, I would have a home. And then walking back to the condo. Yes. <laughs> and got busted. And got caught. Got busted. She got caught. But you know what? Good for you, princess. All right. You know what? I'm down with the princess. Yes. Oh, that's all the time we have for today. Me time with Frangela.